All right, I'm on East Cumberland and Beach Street, right in the intersection. Now behind me is the actual gate. You can see it's all open here. Over there, it's Benjamin Franklin Bridge. All right, let's do this. All right, it didn't take me too long before I found some graffiti here. This is one of the main structures. Oh yeah, this is the official spot. It's literally a one minute walk, two minutes tops, depending on how fast you're moving. And we are in the action right here. So, let me discuss this location a little bit, give you guys a brief history. These are train tracks in which they used to drop off coal to the Delaware River over there. And the people that used to own this were extremely rich, like one of the top companies in the world. And eventually, with innovation, as oil started making its way, the coal industry fell apart. This was taken over by another company, which eventually it was abandoned. At one point, I think it was like 1984 or so, the laws in Philadelphia against graffiti was getting so extreme, like they were putting people in jail, heavy fines. Graffiti artists were going places like this, more secluded, low key, borderline, I think it was borderline abandoned at that point. I think in 91, this was officially abandoned. This is so sick. I mean, if I was good at F FPV drones, I would be killing it here. Look at this. This is insane. So yeah, like 1991 or so, this location was abandoned and I could imagine the graffiti stuff started ramping up at that point. Cause now you have zero activity. Yeah. 
this endless art here. But before it gets too crazy over here, because the later in the day it gets, the more people are gonna come through. Let's try to find, let's try to find that tree to get up on top. Um, it was in the beginning, right? Yeah. We're gonna find that tree so we can climb up on top and see what we see. Can't come here without climbing the tree. Yeah, so stuff is falling apart, obviously. Things are caving in. There is endless art here, endless. Oh, I think I see the tree. Is that the tree? right there look at that all right let's see if we can safely make it to the end I already saw another graffiti fan taking pictures and stuff I'm start going up this this trackway see right here this is where the train tracks were and whew, we are up here if you don't like heights you might not want to come up here no handrails Probably put at least a 16. Probably could do more. But I think a 16 would be alright. We have the 16 is here. I don't know if it's in that frame. I see. Right here, so. 16 right here. Get some 
good shots over here. So I got the drone, getting ready to go with the drone right now. Hopefully the wind is not uh, attacking this mic too heavy, too heavy. It's not that windy, it's kind of breezy, but. All right, so yeah, it's a little overexposed in certain areas. Let's see, um, let's make sure that this is not on auto some reason it goes on auto all the time um, let's let's not do that's the picture so for pictures so pictures is like a hold on, I got the mic cover so for pictures we had a hundred 120 so that should be good for 4K. Let's get it out of 5K. Let's go 4K. And let's go 60 frames. And let's keep this at 120. That's pretty good. Let's see what the sky looks like. Yeah, the building. Yeah, it's perfect. I think we're good. So you got a little bit of drone prep with this tour. And we still look good here. Hopefully the audio is good. Let's get this drone up. I just want to remind people that the best way to come here is with somebody don't do like I do coming here alone there are sketchy people about in these areas um, just lurking looking for trouble and it's a homeless element which sometimes comes with mental Ill illness and such so just be aware of that I found the gloves. <laughs> oh, look what else I found. Swing. This is cool. Do I look cool in a swing? Let me see. Put my book bag down. Because I might flip over. Looks pretty safe, right? Looks stable. 